Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are recording another video. I appreciate the company. Thank you so much. Um, U.S. Congress had a, a meeting regarding uh, UFOs, possible aliens. Uh, I want to talk about it. Where did I put this? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Democracy, boys. Right? America. I love America. Uh, Home of the free, land of the brave, right? Um, Disney characters, uh, Bud Light, I don't know what to say. Great speakers like uh, uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. <laughs> Anyways, democracy, right? Um, the American Senate, uh, the US Congress, uh, as far as I understand, it's senators from uh, the different states. Uh, all good folk, um, decent people, getting together in Congress, talking about things that are relevant to the people. And uh, apparently we got this much time and budget that now we're talking about aliens <laughs> and UFOs. It's glorious. No, um, there was an uh, Australian um, journalist who um, interviewed what they now called call a whistleblower, an American um, um, military man in uh, some kind of military um, intelligence, um, the secret agency, who's uh, spreading all this information. So um, they have a hearing in the US Congress and um, you got all these congressmen from the different states uh, representing the people from these different states with um, different questions. Well, a lot of the questions are the same. So they're repeating a lot of the stuff, these whistleblowers, these witnesses, uh, who are very credible people. It's, it's funny how if you work in the army or in the government and you've done that for many, many years, which, sorry, if you've just done one job in your whole life, how much experience do you really have? But apparently what they repeated many times was that people... Uh, they gold-plated credentials, right? <laughs> it's people with gold-plated credentials because they're pilots and they worked for the government in several agencies. So apparently uh, they, it's gold-plated credentials that was mentioned several times. So that's why we, we should listen and we should can, we should, should take note and... So they uh, have this hearing and these congressmen take turns. They have 10 minutes each of asking questions to these whistleblowers, um, which a lot cannot be discussed in the public. A lot has to be discussed later behind closed doors, right? Um, and um, they're going for all these congressmen. There's a lot of states in America. There's more than 50. Are we still counting Florida? I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, I'm thinking some of these states got these, um, got probably interests in, um, in army contracts, military contracts, right? There'll be states that have certain interests. And I noticed that, that all of a sudden they were going through these gentlemen who all have five or ten minutes, three minutes. I don't know how long they had. Um, and they're all kind of asking the same questions. But then all of a sudden, um, the pros pull up, right? And they are asking questions like, uh, would you say that these UFOs pose a potential threat to the airspace of the United States? And you see the witnesses are like, yes, yes. I would say they possibly pose a threat to, would you say that are we able to intervene them um, if they was to supposedly have a threat? No, I would not say that would be possible. So they're building up all these. And then there was this, this flow of um, questions, um, loaded questions. Is that what it's called? <laughs> so they were setting it up as a potential threat. right? And uh, I found that very funny that some of the congressmen their list of questions were loaded questions where it was all purposedly they could be a threat. They could, could these objects 
be listening to our telephone calls without our um, approval? Could that be? Could there be any chance that that being possible? And the witness is like, like yes, that could be possible. <laughs> Is there any chance while I'm at work that these aliens will um, have an affair with my wife? <laughs> that is possible. It is, there is a slight chance. <laughs> is there any chance that uh, they will skip the queue at the ice cream shop? Yes. <laughs> Loaded questions, right? Um, and I think the conversation went into that balloon at one point, the Chinese balloon, weather balloon. I don't know, it had cameras on it. <laughs> Very interesting. Democracy, boys. Democracy, um, talking about what's important for the people. I think um, they're gonna start the, um, it's about, well, the seriousness of it is to make a safe zone for whistleblowers, really, which I, I do uh, support the idea of people coming out with their stories, because. Apparently now if you're a pilot and you see something weird, you don't share that, right? So you all think that's going to change now that they got the safe space. Uh, you've seen something weird. Are you in a trusted position of power uh, like a pilot or uh, like a submarine captain? <laughs> then come to us, trust us. We, this is safe. <laughs> and you come, yeah, I'm seeing uh, pink and purple uh, and little uh, green men on the horizon. <laughs> They're like taking notes. Yes, um, I'm going to have to have you hand over your badge, your gun and the keys, uh, please. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> or just have, like, we, um, since we opened this new agency taking in uh, stories, uh, we have now have a catalog of 25,000 unidentified stories. Yes. <laughs> you guys find it exciting? I mean, it is, uh, we could say that uh, we're this small, we're this big. Um, the universe is this small, it's this big. I would always say it's the, in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I can't share my alien stories on YouTube. <laughs> How y'all doing? Hopefully you guys are staying fit and firm. If you had three questions for these whistle brawlers, what would they be? What would, what would those questions be? Three questions for these whistle brawlers that uh, they have not been asked, right? They were asking kind of the same questions. Apparently he knows, what, what they're saying is that he heard of people, people that he can mention that know of maybe other people and locations and bodies and vehicles and aircrafts and technologies. But it's hearsay, it's hearsay and uh, it's in Congress. And senators have flown in from their states and uh, have the assistants with them. They're taking notes, they're asking questions. Yes. Taxpayer money, gentlemen. Asking the important questions. Looking out for you. Are we going to be following this story uh, closely, gentlemen? He was mentioning um, how they finance things. That could be fun. See what comes out of that. What kind of paper trails they can follow. Will there be another hearing in Congress? Another hearing, another UFO hearing. Will other countries take turns? Will this be a thing? Uh, will there be interesting data? Will there be CGI animations? That's what I wonder. I, I think we should have illustrations telling these stories. Um, I would like you to draw, just quick do a drawing of uh, what you have in mind, sir. <laughs> just a sketch. 
sketch, try to visualize. Um, <laughs> Some people were talking about uh, squares inside of spheres. Yes. <laughs> Formations in the sky, gentlemen. We did make it to the end here, um, the 10 minute mark. Um, daily videos, I gotta do it in take one. I'm gonna review this video and if it's got any value, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. And hopefully you guys will leave a comment, leave a like and hell, maybe we'll get to two videos a day. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. On the tripod, much love from Pattaya, Thailand. Check out the view from the balcony. The sun is hot, 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 and uh, it's scary. It's no joke. I bring out the umbrella for the sun, and I still get sunburned. That is what it's like today. Uh, yes, I'm out. I'm going to make myself a tinfoil hat.